Assalamu alaikum. In this short video, I will solve two examples. We'll start with the first example here, which is a separately excited DC motor has the following parameters. The armature inductance is equal to 0.5 ohm. The armature inductance is equal to 3 millihenry. And the backing up constant is equal to 0.8 volts second per rod. Uh, is driving a load which has inertia equal 0.167 and a viscous friction equal 0.01 with a load of 100 newton meter so this is a constant load if the armature is connected to a DC supply voltage of 220 volt given the rated current we need to find the motor speed so simply this is a a steady state problem we need to find the motor speed at uh, a steady state so let's recall that the swing equation or the mechanical equation of motion can be written as j d omega by dt plus b omega is equal to te minus tl now at steady state all d by dt will go to zero so simply this means that this term will go to zero and the electromechanical torque te will equal to tl plus b omega remember this is also a friction torque which is a torque proportional to what to the speed so tl is given which is 100 newton so this will be 100 plus the b is 0 0.01 multiplied by the omega which we need to find now we need to solve this equation so we need to find the the te now this is a separately excited DC machine, so the torque is proportional with the flux, let's say, and the IA. And because they are separately excited, the flux is constant. This means that the torque is proportional with IA. So the torque is equal to certain constant, we call it the torque constant multiplied by IA. And we know that the torque constant and the back emf constant is equal if and only if the back emf constant is given in term of volt second per rod so te will equal to 0 0.8 multiplied by ia so this one is equal to 0 0.8 ia if we solve it with respect to ia so IA will equal to 100 plus 0 0.01 omega over 0 0.8. If we do the math, this will equal 125 plus 0 0.0125 omega. So now we have a relation between the current and the, the speed we need to find another equation uh, from where from the the voltage equation so let's go to the voltage equation at this state of course all d by dt will go to zero so simply va is equal to ra ia plus the back mf ea so we can arrange this one as ea which equal to va minus ra ia why because ea contains information about speed now again remember the back mf ea is a proportion with the flux and the speed and because we are discussing a separately excited, the flux is assumed to be constant. So Ea is proportional with omega. And this, the constant of proportion is given as Kb. So here Ea 
is equal to b omega. So now kb is 0 0.8 multiplied by omega is equal the voltage is 220 minus ra is given as 0 0.5 multiplied by the current which is equation number 1 1 2 5 plus 0 0.01 to 5 omega now we can rearrange with respect to omega with respect to this one we can write read it as with respect to omega so omega multiplied by 0 0.8 plus 0.00625 is equal to 157.5 we can solve it now with respect to omega omega is equal to 157.5 over 0 0.80625 and finally if we do the math Omega will equal to 195.35 rad per second. So this is a straightforward example. Uh, the first point we should keep in mind that at this state any d by dt should go to zero. And after that uh, we need to to find the link between the mechanical part and the electrical part in order to, to solve. So at the first stage, we found a relation between the current and the speed. Uh, and after that, we found another relation between the current and the speed from the voltage equation. So we have two equations. This is the first one, actually. And this is the second one uh, with two unknown. This is the second one. Then we solve it here. A straightforward now let's see the the second example for the second example this is a series excited DC motor which mean that uh, the field the series field and the armature field are connected in series so this plus minus let's say V terminal this is the current we can say i terminal or i a or f it will be the same this will be the the l series this will be the r series this will be the r a and here also i can add l a and this is plus minus e a and remember in the series excited the i total is equal to the i f which equal to i a and this machine is designed for a variable speed application which has the following name plate. Now this is the out bar given uh, in horsepower and remember one horsepower is equal 745.6 if I still remember that. Yep. And the rated voltage is 230 volt rotates and the rated speed is 2000 revolution per minute rpm the armature resistance is 1.5 ohm the series resistance is 0.7 ohm which has the following armature and series inductance the mutual inductance between the between the armature and the series is equal to uh, 67.5 millihenry and the uh, viscous friction is given also now assume variable DC source is available for the drive we need to find uh, the input voltage required in a steady state to deliver rated torque at rated speed and then we need to find the, the efficiency now this one is a series connected so if we recall that 
the vacuum F is proportional with the, the flux and IA which means that the vacuum F is proportional with oh, sorry with Omega so the vacuum F is proportional with the flux and Omega so the vacuum F is proportional with I F and Omega and here the constant of proportion is given as the mutual inductance between the stator and the rotor which means that EA is equal to M I F Omega. The same thing is applicable for the electromechanical torque. The torque is proportional with IF, IA, and here the constant of proportion is the mutual inductance, which means that TE is equal to M, IF, IA. So now let's try to solve the first part here, which requests us to calculate the input voltage required in a steady state. So any d by dt should go to zero to deliver the rated torque at the rated speed. Now let's see the rated speed is already given. What's given in term of the revolution per minute, and we know that uh, which is n this one. Huh? We know the relation omega is equal to pi over sixty multiplied by the n. So we can calculate the omega rated. which will equal 2 pi over 60 multiplied by 2000 and this will equal 209.52 rod per second we need also to calculate the rate of torque so from where from the rated output power and I'm having the rated speed and remember that P out is equal T omega so T will equal P out over omega so from here we can calculate the T L which equal P out 3 horsepower 3 multiplied by 745.6 over the omega already we calculate here which is 209.52 and if we do the math this will equal 10.675 newton meter now if you recall the swing equation which is the j d omega by dt plus b omega must equal TE minus TL now this one as this state equal to zero and here TE the electromechanical torque will equal TL plus B Omega now TL we already calculate 10.675 plus the B the viscous friction is given as 0 0.0025 multiplied by the Omega which is the 209.5 and this one will equal to 11.195 in Newton meter so this actually is what is a friction torque so until here we found what the electromechanical torque now if we so from the electromechanical torque can we calculate the current now let's see do you remember te is equal to what te is equal to m i f i a and in the series connected dc machine i f is equal to i a so simply this means that te is equal to m i a square so from here we can calculate i a which will equal to the square root of TE over M if we do the math this will equal to 12.88 ampere now we need actually to find the input voltage if we write the equation of the input voltage as this state then V will equal to 
R A I A plus R series I F plus the back M F and remember the back M F we can write it as M I F omega so this would be M I F omega uh, of course if I need to complete uh, the equation this will be the L A D I A by D T plus L F D I F by D T or the series and those two terms are equal to zero at the state so now we can say that the voltage is equal to R A plus R series plus M omega all multiplied by I A now let's see this one is given this one is given this one is given this one is given and this one is given so it's plug and play and if we do the math this will equal 1.5 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.0675 multiplied by the speed 209.52 all multiplied by the current which is the 12.88 and this will equal to 210.46 volt so now what about the second part which is the efficiency we know that the efficiency is nothing more than p out over p in now p out is given the rated one which is the three horsepower three multiplied by seven for five point six over p in this is a dc so the p in here is v terminal i terminal so the voltage of the terminal will already calculate to one zero point four six multiplied by the current which is the twelve point eight eight and if we do the math this will equal eighty two point five percent and this is the efficiency of this machine so this is the second example a straightforward example discussing the series connected DC motor also remember that at this state any d by dt is equal to zero and also remember here we have a friction torque and this friction torque is equal to b multiplied by the omega thank you for listening see you next time